Hello, you are welcome to solve for x in this nice math problem involving roots from here. We have root 45 minus root x divided by root x minus root, 40, root 5 equals to 1. From here, this is same thing as over 1 here. And when we cross multiply, we have root 45 now minus root x then equals to root x minus root 5 and from here the first method we want to use two methods let's use the first one here we can square both sides of this in this first method then when we square this this will become root 45 square then plus root x square then minus 2 times root 45 then times root x also equals to on this side as well when we expand this is also root x square plus root 5 square then minus 2 times root x times root 5 so this is the expansion for the two sides and here square we cancel square root square cancel square root we have 45 plus x then minus here we can bring it together as minus 2 root 45 x then equals to here as well x square cancel square root here square cancel square root we have x plus 5 now then minus 2 root when we bring this together that's 5x and then here we have x plus x on both sides so when we subtract x on both sides x we cancel off then what we have now we can take 5 to this side that will be 45 minus 5 then equals to here let's take minus 2 root 45 x to that side we don't plus and they come to meet this so we have 2 root 45 now 2 root 45 x then minus 2 root 5 x here plus then here we have 40 now which is equals to we can factor 2 out here and we have root 45 x then minus root 5 x left then when we divide by 2 so as to remove these two here, 2 here we cancel out and here we have 20 now which is equal to this and uh, let me write this side first that is we write root 45 x minus root 5 x will now be equal to 20 now let's square both side again we square both sides then also the expansion here will give us root 45 x square plus root 5 x square then minus 2 times root 45 x times root 5 x you know because the 20 square there is 400 then here square cancel square root also square cancel square root we have 45 x plus 5x then minus 2 root here we can bring this together and that will be root 45 you know times 5 then times x square x times x as a square equal to 400 then here this gives us 50x then minus here this is the same thing as we can say when we separate root 45 times 5 you can say that's 9 times 5 that's 45 10 times 5 and this 5 times 5 here is 25 so and then we have x square so we have root 9 that's 3 then this you know will be 5 now then we have x so we have 3 times 5 times x so we have minus 2 times 3 times 5 10 times x will now be equal to 400 then from here this will be 50x minus we have 2 times 
you know, 3 that's 6 times 5 that's 30, that's 30x equals to 400. And this is 20x, which is equals to 400. Then divide both sides by 20 from here. And 20 cancel out here. And here, x is equals to 20. So we have x equals 20 from this method. Now let's use another method to see another way of how this could be solved. From here, we can also cross multiply like the first step, and this will be root 45 minus root x, a equals to root x minus root 5. Then Let's bring x to one side and also take you know, the one without x to one side. So we have root 45 here. Then take minus root 5 here, become plus root 5. Then equals to root x. Take minus root x here, become plus, that's plus root x. Then what we have here? We have root 45. And uh, we can say let this be root 9 times 5 then plus root 5 which is equals to when we sum this we have 2 root x then here yeah, now this will give us 3 then because root 9 that's 3 that's 3 root 5 then plus root 5 is now equals to 2 root x now of course we can also sum this, they are similar sort now. This will be 4 root 5, then equals to 2 root x. Then when we divide by 2 from here, 2 we cancel out here, then 2 here 1, 2 here 2, then we have root x left here. Let's write root x first, which is equals to 2 root 5 from here. Then let's get rid of this square, and uh, we now square both sides. We get rid of that square root by squaring both sides. So square cancel square root. We have x now equals to this square affect these two numbers. We have two square now. That's two square times root five square. And here we have x now equals to this is four times square cancel square root five. So x also equals to twenty here. So in the two way of solving this. We have x to be equals to 20. Now we can check to confirm if this satisfies the given problem. And we substitute x equals to 20. From here, let's substitute x equals to 20 now. So this will be root 45. Then minus root 20 divided by root 20 minus root 5. Will this be equals to 1 from here? Then let's bring this one to simpler sort. That will be root 9 times 5. Then minus here we have root 4 times 5. Then over here, this is still root 4 times 5. Then minus root 5. Is it equal to 1 from here? Then when we simplify, root 9 is 3, that's 3 root 5. Then minus root 4, that's 2, that's 2 root 5. Then over here we have 2 root 5, then minus root 5. Will this be equal to 1 from here? Then when we factor root 5 out here, we have root 5 out common. Then we have 3 minus 2 left. Then divided by here we have also root 5. Then we have 2 minus 1 left. Is this equal to 1 now? Then this cancel out. And we have 3 minus 2 as 1. Then 2 minus 1, that's also 1, is equals to 1. Now, 1 over 1 is 1, which is 1 equals to 1. Left hand side equals to the right hand side from here. Now, we can say that x equals to 20 now is the solution to this uh, given problem. And uh, we have come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Give maximum reaction. Give a thumbs up. Share this video and put your comment. Thank you for watching. See you next class. Then. Bye for now.